It's been a hot minute since I've used a 22 millimeter single coil RDA ever since the Pulse 22. That was a while ago, wasn't it? But you got to switch some shit up every now and again. And I'm going to be switching some shit up today with this Ghoul RDA from Blitz. Alrighty, so here's the packaging this Ghoul RDA comes in. And of course, inside that packaging, you're going to receive your Ghoul RDA. It comes with an extra clear acrylic 810 drip tip. They include this key tool to use for your flathead screws. It comes with a gold-plated squonk pen. And last but not least, they include this baggie of extras, extra O-rings, a Delrin 510 drip tip adapter, an extra flathead screw, and an extra ceramic clamping tool. So there's two color options that I've seen for this puppy chucker. You could choose stainless steel, or you could choose this matte black. She's primarily made of stainless steel, 22 millimeter in width at the base, and 33 millimeter in length. At the bottom, she comes pre installed with a solid 510 pin gold plated 510 pin which does protrude you have smooth 510 threads also at the base it says ghoul rda designed by blitz at the top it comes pre-installed with this black honeycomb resin drip tip big fan of resin drip tips guys especially 810 resin drip tips and you also have this big fat beefy o-ring in here and she does sit snug as a bug and also another good thing like most of these other devices out there nowadays this is 810 drip tip compatible personally i like the matte black the best because you've got the silver logo okay and you know what it's a combination between the bonds logo go in the dead rabbit you got that skull with the cross mods and it says ghoul down here i wish the ghoul was a little bit more clear but overall it's a nice clean engraving on this side it's just real clean and you got dual airflow dual adjustable airflow you want to pop this on a mod before you adjust the airflow which i'm going to show you in a second but you notice how the barrel kind of barrels out it's not completely straight that's just something to point out some of you guys may like that look some of you guys may not Alrighty, so check it out here's the deck section this is a 22 millimeter single coil and look at the airflow you got airflow hitting it from the front airflow hitting from the back and the airflow hitting it from the back is kind of angled inward which i'm going to show you in a second you kind of can see it though also another thing you got this little lip at the bottom and that keeps juice from getting on your mod that's another pro dual o-ring as you guys can see your positive connection over here your negative connection over here nice deep juice well too about five six millimeter deep and there's your ceramic block and it's got a big old flathead screw and that's where this tool comes into play so to loosen this ceramic clamp what you got to do is you got to get this tool in here unscrew the flathead screw now this is not spring loaded. That's one thing that would have made this sucker better. But you unscrew, pop it open, slide your leads in there, tighten it down, and you're rocking. Obviously you gotta clip your leads in the back too. So yeah, once you got your leads in there, you just tighten this bad boy down. And you got a good solid connection. Now, another thing I do want to point out, you don't want to tighten this tool down too much because you could break the ceramic clamp. That's why they include a second. Just tighten it down enough to where you feel a good solid connection, you're good. And another reason why they include this tool is to unscrew the solid pin and to put the squonk pin in there. And here's what the squonk pin looks like assembled in this bad boy. And I think it's the perfect amount of height, especially how high the airflow is, because you don't want to squonk too much juice in there. The way they did it, it's the perfect height, in my opinion. So here's the build that I'm rocking in this bad man pajama. It's a space fuse clasping, and this is the way I've done it. I've raised it up this height. This is the best way to do it in my opinion you want that airflow traveling through i don't like it to where my airflow hits the coil i want a smoother airflow and i get better flavor when i raise the coil like this so again your airflow is traveling through on both sides like I said, this back airflow is kind of split and angled inward and you don't want the wicks to be in the way i've pushed the wicks on the side they're hugging each side inside the barrel that's the best way to do it for this RDA, in my opinion. But again, if you want, you could drop the coil or you could raise it more. I just find this distance my cup of tea. For a single coil 22 millimeter RDA, the flavor you get off this, whoa, it's a single coiler's dream. Juice her up. Oh yeah, and here's the inside of the barrel. Everything is nice and clean. It's got this sort of smoothed out conical shape thing going on up here to smooth out the airflow and increase the flavor. And also, it looks like it's a lot taller than it is. I mean, the barrel is tall, but it looks like the chamber's a lot taller. And it's not, because the deck goes up to about right there. So in actuality, it's a really condensed small chamber. But yeah, you get your slots on both sides. And what you want to do is line up the slots with the slots. And I will state, when you first get this, these O-rings are super tight. But as you lube them up, it gets perfect. Perfect tolerances. And again, I love this lip, guys. This lip down here, I never get juice on my mod. But you can adjust the airflow if you want. Screw it onto a mod like I have it right now, and then you can just go ahead and twist the barrel. See, it's adjusting on this side and adjusting it on this side. Now, if you see this, you have this little plate, right? Well, that plate is kind of open. So your airflow is always going to be able to travel because it's open again. See that? A little bit of space in there. But yeah, you can adjust it to where it's running through diagonal on one side or adjust it the other way where it's running diagonal through the other or you can close it off so it's open on this side and closed off on this side or the other way so you got wicked adjustable airflow options it's all subjective it's what you're looking for but they give you those options which is good personally i like it wide open on both sides i get the perfect amount of restrictiveness perfect lung hit but that's me first things first i want to go over the pros for this device i like how it's got this like shield so it's open right i think it changes up the airflow and it makes the draw very pleasant love the fact that this comes with a resin honeycomb drip tip super comfortable drip tip and it looks stylish as hell and this bowed out barrel look has grown on me i actually think it looks pretty sexy curvy i really dig this black matte unit with the silver engravings i think it looks sick as tits 
The flavor you get off this for a 22 millimeter single coil RDA is absolutely exceptional. Love, love, love this deck section. Like the fact that it's single coil, man. I'm a big single coiler. Love my duels, but I'm a big single coiler and I like the ceramic clamp. Like the big flathead screws. Wish it was a stainless steel flathead screw versus a gold plated. Gold plated gets a little slick, but it's not a deal breaker. The airflow for this. Oh my gosh. Wide open is great. It's smooth as a porn star's ass. And if you close it off, you get that perfect amount of restrictiveness. Like the fact it's got a deep juice well. The fact that the chamber section is so small, condensed, you're going to get great flavor off this. The fact that you could squawk with this, that's a pro. Hell, the fact that they include this tool to work on your connection screw and your 510 pins makes it so much easier to work on. Like I showed you before, this bad boy comes with a Delward 510 drip tip adapter, so if you want, you can use your preferred 510 drip tips, which is going to be a pro to a lot of you vapors out there. Also, I love how they include this extra clamp, the ceramic clamp, so for you to break the other one, you got this one to go to. Now, as far as cons goes, this is a 22 millimeter RDA, and some of you vapors out there are not going to prefer that. You're going to want your 24 or 25 millimeter devices. Also, the fact that the barrel kind of bows out, some of you vapors out there may not like that. Also, this not having a dual coil option, that may be a con to some of you guys too. And another thing I do want to point out what will make this device that much better, one, if this was a spring-loaded clamp, and two, if there were notches on the outside to trap your leads, that would be another thing that would make this device better. Just my two cents, Blitz. Now, one thing I do want to point out here that I did not point out in the close-ups, when you first drip, you want to make sure that when you tilt it towards you, that it's either blocked off on one side or the other and that the airflow is facing that way, not you. Because if the airflow is facing you after you <laughs> your juice in there, it's going to leak. It's such a small condition dense chamber. It's got nowhere to go, so it's going to come out on you, on your mod, on your device. But that's after you first drip. And I'm talking about dripping like 10, 15 drops. If you just do like five drops, you're good. Or if you squonk. If you squonk and you're good. I haven't had any issues squonking. But that's some tidbit of information I wanted to give you when you use this device, okay? So I just want you to hear this. I blocked off the airflow on the front side and I left it open on the back side. Oh yeah, what's the wattage yet? 40 watts, that's it. For a single coil RDA, man, 22 millimeter single coil RDA, the flavor is absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm getting every note and nuance of this transmission I'm vaping on. Gotta open her up a little bit more. Halfway open on the front, halfway open on the back. It's a tight, restrictive lung hit, but the flavor, woo hoo hoo! <laughs> a little bit turbulent in different areas the way you adjust the airflow. But overall, man, it's smooth, baby. Personally, I like to keep her wide open. Oh yeah, that's the way this sucker's meant to be vaped in my opinion. Price point, price point, price point. 25 to 30 bucks is what you're going to be paying for this sucker. I'll post links down in the description of the sites that I know of that are carrying this mamba jam. And now on to the big question, the big answer today, which vapor out there is going to benefit from this bad boy the most? This is meant for that vapor looking for a 22 millimeter single coil RDA that chucks the flavor. You looking for that and all the other stuff that I just mentioned? Well then get this puppy chucker, it's for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, liked it, found it entertaining and helpful. If you did like this video, well then hit that like button. Let me know that you care and share it for all your friends to see. And if you want to see more of me then subscribe for more this is rip trippers and remember smoking is dead vaping is the future and the future is now